Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker update. Today is Tuesday, June 2nd. So I didn't do an update yesterday. Actually, not a lot going on. Let's just start with the S&Ps. I mean, we're talking about, we're just grinding, 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 grinding. So not a whole lot happening in the markets, if my platform can update here. So take a look at the S&Ps. I mean, you know, these last few days have just been like watching paint dry. Not a whole lot of action. So as far as what we've done is we've really just kind of adjusted, rolled, extended duration on some of our positions, but not a lot of new stuff this week. So hopefully we get some action going on and we will add some new positions. Earnings, really the only major earnings we're seeing this week on the big liquid stocks is Zoom. Zoom, a zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom. So Zoom is obviously been a huge benefactor of this whole stay at home, work from home, corona economy. You know, if you look back here in February when all this stuff really started kicking in, I mean, this thing has just skyrocketed. We're talking about more than doubling of the stock price since early February. And look at look at this reaction just leading into earnings. So they Zoom announces earnings after the bell. And I mean, they are just anticipating some pretty knockout earnings. Big moves right before the announcement today, a little bit flatter, but interesting to see what they'll come out with. You know, they had a couple little dips just because of some security, potential security uh, related issues, but then just ripped back higher after those were over. And so it'll be interesting to see. I don't have a position on in Zoom, not taking any action here, uh, but we'll be watching to see kind of how it reacts to the earnings report. Looking at some of the other stocks, uh, I mean, a pretty mixed bag across the board. I mean, if you look at, you know, banks, Bank of America, pretty flat, Citigroup up a couple percent. So banks are kind of flat to higher. You've got Amazon pretty flat, Beyond Me to down a little bit. Just looking at some of the big movers. Expedia up a little bit, so some of the travel stocks doing well. Delta Airlines up a percent, uh, but really just just back and forth across the board, no real clear direction. So we'll be interested to see. Look at Wayfair just continues its climb. It's got it's up over eleven percent today, but just waiting for something to happen with this market. Is it going to crack or is it going to push higher? We shall see. Everybody have a good evening. Talk to you tomorrow.